Good evening, team. Oh my gosh. That video I wanted to play because I knew some people would be hopping on a little bit after seven. So I thought I'm going to play an inspirational video, motivational video. And if you're in our peer pods, you have seen that. But I feel like I need to just watch that every single day because every single excuse that I can come up with when I watch that video, I'm like, I do not have room to even make any excuses at all. Super, super inspiring. So welcome, welcome, you guys. Um, some of you guys are eating. <laughs> Dory, you got some French fries. Um, looks good. Hang on one second. I got to fix something here on my computer. Okay, where am I, where am I? Let's see. Okay, that's different. My Zoom, I swear, I need to call and like change something because it's been really weird lately. Leah, she's at work and she is on the call. <laughs> awesome. So tonight, uh, everybody's doing something different, right? You might be folding laundry, you might be eating, you might be taking a time out, you might be working, who knows what you're doing, but you're on the call, you showed up. If you've got people that you want to message real quick and say, hey, the call's on, are you coming on? Encourage them to hop on, even if they're late, that'd be awesome. You can do that right now real quick. Um, but tonight's our May goal setting call. And I'm so excited because, you know, from what I'm hearing, I've heard a few tidbits here and there, and it's going to be absolutely mind blowing what is happening with Flexus. So um, I'm not sure if you heard on the call last night, I think it was the call last night, um, Becky Page uh, said that it'll be like May 25th, I think is when they're gonna be announcing. I think that's what I heard. So, um, and every single diamond that I've heard talk about this has expressed how, she was moved to tears when hearing what is coming. I'm just like, what is happening? <laughs> it's going to be really amazing, right? So I wanted to play that video to, to motivate you guys to get you ready for this call. Um, this is our goal setting call. If you're here, that's what you're here for. You're here because your feet are in, you're all in, you want to make some residual income with the business and you have some goals. So that's why you're here. So we're gonna work this out like we do every month at the beginning of the month. Um, go ahead and put in the chat what your May business goals are. And when I'm talking business goals, I am talking like a rank up goal and a specific point increase goal. So if you ended last month with 50 points and your goal is gold, then you would say my, my goal point is, or actually you would say right at the top right, uh, Leah is, and then whatever that is. Like for me, I wrote Tina is 1300 points. That's my, my point goal. Um, so whatever that is, write it in there, be very, very specific on points or on the next goal, uh, rank up goal. And put those in the chat. Want to pull up the chat so I can see it. Dory, senior goal. Woohoo! Danielle, 230 points. Yes, yes, yes. Danielle Quick, senior silver. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Leah, I'm working towards Ruby, so I will be Ruby by July 1st. Yeah, totally. Whoa. We're going to have so many exciting things going on again. Um, I want to increase my outside leg points 15%. And I have some extra numbers for you, Leah, as we talked about. So if you have time, we can do it tonight. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. But I've got some specific numbers for you that you'll be like, oh, totally makes sense. So great goals, everybody. Really, really awesome. Um, Jennifer, put your goals in there. She's at eating dinner, cooking dinner. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're on. Leah, Daniel Quick, Daniel, Swisher, Dory. I'm so glad you guys are on. Okay. Gosh, my Zoom is being weird. Okay, hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, so at the top of your paper, you've got Leah is or Jennifer is. 
Okay, so make sure you put that on the top of your paper. And we want to have this in front of us all month long, just like we talked about last month. We want to have this piece of paper with you um, in front of you so that you, when you're thinking, I don't know, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do today. You can just look at that piece of paper. This is what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go over some announcements really quick. You just put that at the top. I'm gonna go over some announcements really, really quick. So announcements, conventions coming up in June, be sure that you're registered before May 15th because after May 15th, those prices actually go up. They have to plan, they have to budget and all of that stuff. Um, so talk to your friends and see if they've thought about the business, talk to your new silvers, talk to people on your team, talk about getting registered. The more people you have registered, the better chances of really having some really, really amazing team growth all through the summer. Because when people attend a Plexus event, um, even if it's virtual, when they attend this event, they're gonna be blown away. They're gonna be excited. They're gonna see a bigger picture of Plexus. The next thing I wanna um, talk about is our Thursday wellness event starts at 6 p.m. That's in our wellness lounge. So be getting, test, get, be getting um, invites out and all that stuff. If you're in our peer pods, we're gonna be inviting tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be, be a big day. Um, and then I wanted to talk to you guys about um, Brooke Hemingway and her husband, Dr. Thomas Hemingway is doing a challenge called Lose It For Life Challenge. Had to mute her, hold on. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay, they are doing a Lose It For Life Challenge. I put all the information in our team page. You can check that out. Um, anyone interested in losing, uh, losing some weight, losing bad habits, making, um, all kind, it's on the team page. You guys have to check it out, but, um, I'm doing it and I'm super excited about it that someone else is running a really cool thing. I think we're going to learn a lot about it. If that's your thing that you're into right now before summer. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the $200 extra incentive bonus this month. We have that going on with Plexus when you add six. And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you added three last month or however many you added last month, and then you add some this month, if it equals six together between the two months, you're gonna get that $200 bonus. So if you added one last month and you add five this month, you're gonna get the extra $200 bonus. If you added three last month, you'll add three this month, you'll get the $200 extra incentive bonus. So that's really exciting. The potential for a fast start, these are all your new people that joined you in April. If they would, they will be fast start, right? Fast start silvers, they share with uh, three or if they share with six, let's go with that. If they share with six people in their first 30 days and you can help them do that, um, they're gonna make $610. Ah, really, $610. So write down, write down on a piece of paper who you're gonna help earn this money, $610. We should be telling everybody. I have a graphic that I'm gonna share in our business chat after this call. Um, if I forget, please message in there and remind me, but I've got a graphic that shows all of the bonuses and stuff like that so that you can share it with your um, downlines. If you're not in that chat, message me and I'll send it to you. Um, you know, we always know that when we set a goal, we're gonna have obstacles that come up, right? Always. Write down on a piece of paper what you think might come up this month. And then after you write that down, write down how are you gonna overcome that obstacle? Because we can overcome things if we set our mind to it. If you already know something's gonna come up, it's probably gonna come up. Maybe it's people disapproving of you. Maybe it's self-torment. Maybe it's all self-inflicted, self-doubt, fear. Maybe someone says no, and it just gets you down. How you choose to respond to that stuff is definitely gonna be key in knowing your why. Why am I doing this is super, super important to help keep you moving forward, even on the days that it's difficult. We all have these ups and downs, and I'll tell you throughout my plexus, whoo, hoo, 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 it has been more of a growth journey, more of a personal growth journey than anything else, a self-improvement journey. Oh, I could, I could probably write down all kinds of words for my journey in the last four years. Um, but that is part of business. That's part of learning. That's part of being a leader, a mentor. 
we've got to fall down. We've got to fall down so that we learn. And the key to that is if you fall down to not stay down, to just get back up, learn from it. What could I have done different? What could I do better? What can I dig into to sharpen my skills and just do it? It doesn't have to be hard unless we make it hard. So know that you will never get approval of every single person all the time. Not everyone's gonna like you. Not everyone will wanna work with you. So if you're waiting on others' approval, you could be waiting a really, really long time. What's most important is that you love yourself and that you approve of yourself every single day. So Mel Robbins, actually, I don't know if you guys know who Mel Robbins is, but she was actually at our one of our last conventions. And, um, but I heard her last summer and she was talking, she did like this series about a high five. I can't remember if some of you guys heard about that too, but um, every morning, she, she said, every morning, get up, look at yourself in the mirror and give yourself a high five. And all of a sudden, all through social media, people were tagging Mel Robbins with a high five photo, their hand on the mirror. And basically it's about talking to yourself positively. And even though you may not get like everything done in the day, give yourself a high five for in the morning. You know what? Good job, girl. We're going to rock the day. We're gonna have a positive attitude. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna break records. We're gonna whatever. At the end of the day, high five yourself and tell yourself that you did a really good job. And when I do this, it makes such a difference in my attitude about myself. Because the more that you love yourself, the better you go out skipping throughout your day. You know, I don't know if you guys, any of you have had um, daughters, but if you have, around the age, you know, the younger age, I would say, like under under 14, probably, you know how these little girls just are so happy and they just skip, just skip around. <laughs> I love that. I love that age. And the more, um, the older we get, the harder it seems that we are on ourselves. And the more, the older we get, sometimes the more negative we can start talking about ourselves. And those are things we would never do when we were younger. When we were younger, we'd skip around and be joyful and life was great. And we get older and we can tell ourselves stories and all kinds of things. But high-fiving yourself, even at the end of the day, saying, I, I did a great job. You know what? I didn't get X, Y, Z done, but I did do the five loads of laundry. I did go to work. I did provide for my family. I, you know, had supper on the table, whatever, like figure out what it is that you did do during the day that is worth celebrating, worth the high five. Good job, sister, good job. One thing that has helped me too is a gratitude journal. And if you've never done a gratitude journal, um, I just challenge you to try it. Try it in the month of May, get a book and it's just your gratitude journal. So every night before you go to bed, um, write, down ten, write down 10 things that you're grateful for. And some of you guys might be thinking, Tina, I can't even think of one thing I'm grateful for right now because maybe you're going through a really hard time. But I will tell you one thing. I've been through really hard times too. And I was still doing my gratitude journaling at that time. And it pulled me out of some really tough times because at first when you start it, it feels awkward. It might feel like I don't know what I'm grateful for, like family, you know, whatever kind of the general things. But here's what happens. You look around you and you think of the small things. And it might be, it's spring, the sun was shining today. I look out my window and the grass is green. I see tulips budding. It might be simple things like that. It might be, I got up today and put my feet on the ground and I went to work. It might be, I washed my hair today. <laughs> it might be, um, I showered today <laughs> on that note. <laughs> um, but so at first it might feel weird if you're not used to doing it, because that's how I felt when I very first started doing it. And, but I will tell you, force yourself to do it for the month of May. I challenge you guys to do this. Every night before you go to bed, 10 things you're grateful for can be super small. But by doing this exercise, 
what you're going to find after about, I don't know, a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks, what you'll start to notice is that when you're out living your life and doing things, you actually start to see more of the world around you. You start to see and notice and you remember and you think, I'm going to write that down tonight. I saw a cute little bunny with mama bunny with six of her babies. And before gratitude journaling, I just would have thought, oh, what a cute mom with her little babies. But instead, I took more of a moment to capture it and to watch them and see what they were doing and how they were inter interacting with their mom. And I had a feeling of gratitude and appreciation. So that's just a small example, but you will notice as you do this, the more and more you do it, you'll actually find that you can keep writing things. At first, it might be a struggle to just find three, but push through it, find 10. Find 10 things, even if they're super small that you're grateful for. And then what happens? You start to notice things around you more. You start to notice life more. You're more grateful. And the next thing you know, you're not just writing 10 things. You're writing like 20 because your brain has noticed so many things all around you that you're grateful for. And when you go to bed, you remember them and you just keep writing. And it feels so, so good. Does that make sense, you guys? <laughs> and if you do this, I want to hear about it because... It truly is amazing. It truly is amazing what happens. Okay, so we're gonna talk about goal setting. All right, it doesn't matter what others think of you, right? It doesn't matter. You know it's important to you, not anyone else. So you wrote your name at the top of the paper. You wrote down your specific goal, point goal, rank goal for this month. Be totally realistic, but also, also push yourself. So an example, Tina is 1300 points, right? Whatever your goal is, it might be re rank senior goal. That might be 300 points, your points, whatever it is. Write that down, be specific. Next, underneath your goal, I'll show you my board. You can see this. Can you guys see that? So there's my board. And I wrote um, Tina's 1300 points. And then you're going to write why that's important and why it's important to you. Um, it needs to have an emotional attachment because when we're emotionally attached to why we want to reach these certain goals, we're more likely to work for them. <laughs> if there's no emotional attachment to it, it's just words out in the air. It's just words that you're putting on a piece of paper just because you're here and I'm telling you to do it. <laughs> so we really want to think about why, why is that goal important? And I will share yours with you guys, I'll share mine with you guys. If you guys want to share yours in the chat, um, your why, you most certainly can. We're all here um, to motivate each other. So I wrote, Tina's 1300 points. I am closer to Emerald and see the light getting closer. I have a growing team and momentum. This is what this means to me. And for me, it also means building belief in myself to lead to be a good leader. And that's what that means to me. So if you want, you can put it on a board every single one and just, um, so this is what it's gonna kind of look like and we're gonna keep building on this. Um, so everybody's got that. If you want, you can share it in the chat. If not, no big deal. It's, it's and it's kind of a thing of uh, when I hit that goal, it means. That's what I should have said to you guys. When I hit that goal, it means I'm closer to Emerald. I see the light getting closer. I have a growing team and momentum and building belief in myself as a leader. Um, so have that written down. And then to see how many points you had last month. So, um, and you may have points, you may just be starting and not have points, not have anyone under you or you may have two or three people. That's totally fine. So we all start in the same place, right? So um, 
to find out your points from last month, you go to your virtual office and then you hit points and rank. And then that will show your points from last month when you hit points and rank. And then what you're gonna do is when you're in the points and rank, you're gonna scroll down, you'll see your people there that have enrolled with you. And then you'll see where the subscription is. And you're gonna double click, double tap or double click where it says subscriptions two times. And that'll bring all the subscriptions for May to the top. And then what you'll do is you'll count how many subscriptions are gonna run in May. So you can figure out, you can kind of project, like here's my points today, which probably most of us don't have a lot of points right now because not everyone has subscriptions run at the beginning of the month. I wish they did. I wish they all ran on the fifth of the month. Forget about the 28th. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the way that we can turn that around, you guys, is have most of our enrollments in the beginning of the month instead of the last day of the month, okay? <laughs> Craziness happens. And I talk to friends of mine on other teams and they're like, they either they have high enrollment at the beginning and everybody falls asleep or everyone's asleep at the beginning and they go like crazy at the end. <laughs> and I said, my team is the second one. Sleep a little bit in the first part of the month because we're like recovering from craziness at the end of the month. <laughs> so anyway, that's how you can check your subscriptions, your points today, how many subscriptions are going to run, where you guys are at right now, you're getting five points for everybody. So every subscription, 100 PV or more, it's going to give you five points per person. So you can figure that out, 5, 10, 50, 20, 20, da, 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 da. That'll show you a little estimate of what's gonna happen for you in May. So let's talk about an example of like, Sue is, Sue is gold. Sue's on here, Sue says, Sue is gold. And maybe she's senior silver. So senior silver to gold is the example. Gold is 100 points. And Sue had 50 points last month, she went senior silver. She's now checked her subscriptions and she had 10, but one person has, is not ordering this month because they, here's what happens sometimes. If someone orders at the very end of the month, and I hate when this happens, sometimes they aren't ready for products quite yet. And they'll push it just a few days later because they get their, they're just getting their products today. So they might push it to June 1st, right? So Sue had 50 points last month. She has nine subscriptions that are gonna run. That gives her 45 points in, subscri in subscriptions that are gonna run. So she's gonna take 100 points, which is gold, minus 45 points. And that equals 55 points is what she needs to go gold. You take 55 and divide it by five because that's our five points per person. And then you get how many ambassadors Sue needs. She needs 11 new people to rank gold in May. And I would say 13 for a buffer because you never know. It's always better to go above than to be right on and be whoops, a little bit under. So think of who can you help share with one or two? Who can you help go silver? Who can you help get a buddy, you know, an accountability partner? So let me talk about, um, I'll just use that one as an example. So next, what you're going to do is you're going to write down how many on your deal. Here's mine. So the next part, you're going to write down who, how many people you're going to enroll. Here, Lee's trying to see. So see these lines right here for me? I'm writing down uh, numbers for my personal enrollments. So I wrote one, two, three, four, five. I'm committing to enrolling five personal. That's my goal. So at the top, I wrote Tina's 1300 points. I wrote why that's important to me, what that means when I hit that. And I'm writing down my personal goal for enrollments, which is the five. So there's a line for every person. So as I do this, I can fill that in. Can you guys see that? Make sense? And then below that, 
you're going to write down how many out of those people, like if you said, um, I want to add three people. My, my personal goal is three. Um, the reason why mine is five is because I enrolled one last month. I want to enroll five because I want to get the $200 extra bonus. And that's the six. Right, so think about maybe if that's your goal to earn that extra 200, how many did you enroll last month? What's your personal goal this month? You know, write those down. Then out of those five for me, who am I committed to helping go silver? Or if, you, if your goal is three, whatever it is, how many of those are you going to help go silver? That's sharing with three people. Keep in mind, these will be faster silvers. So then you guys, what you'll do is you'll write down. Okay, you okay, can see this. Hopefully. My my light, my whatever the light behind my computer is throwing it off. <laughs> so my goal, my personal goal, and then right here I've got one, two, three, four. I'm committing to four, to developing four new silvers. And what you need to do is write the bonus in that blank. We don't know who these people are yet, but what I want you to do is write next to this person where their name's gonna go, you're gonna put $380 because I want you to see the money. $380, $380, $380, $380. $380. And that's what you're gonna talk to them about as well. And that's a fast start, 380. If they are um, fast start and they do have six, do I have that written down somewhere? I think it's $610. I think we talked about that, 610 for a fast start. Ooh, 610. Or if they add three, 380. Okay. And I'm, your sheet probably looks like a bunch of scribbles. You can redo it so you have this sheet <laughs> for you all month. The key is one to three silvers a month to develop. And I think that as I look at our team, to be honest, we could definitely all get better at developing silvers. And if you think about it, the more silvers that you help develop in the very first part of the month, and this is something Brooke Hemingway said one time, and it just... It's like, whoa, the more silvers in the first part of the month that you have, the more momentum you'll have. And then the silvers you develop this week, right? So you develop silvers this week are the ones that you're gonna help go senior silver the following week. And by doing that throughout the month, you're going to gain a hundred points. So if you ended the month with 500, you're going to be at 600. If you ended the month with 200, you're going to be at 300 points. So that's, that's all about developing, helping people share, get them to silver or die trying. <laughs> Help them get their samples out. They have their free samples because you might be thinking, well, how do I do that? How do I help them go silver? Help them get their samples out. Help them invite people to Thursday's event. That's why I'm having an event right at the beginning of the month. Got an event going, let's do it. Help them make a first post. They may not go Facebook Live, but who knows? Do a shout out for them. Are there three-way messages that they can start? Right? If you don't know what to do, ask. What more can I do? What more can I do? And then just do it. Ask yourself, what more can I do? Let your brain work for you. Can I help her get three-way messages? Can I help her do a Facebook post? Yes, yes, yes. Can I help her get invites out to Thursday's event? Yes. She might need exact verbiage. Absolutely. Write it out for her. Say, here's the verbiage. Can you send this to five friends? She will say yes. Awesome. 
And once they say yes, let me know and I'll tell you how to do the rest. Then you go to the page, then you send, then you invite them to the page and then you do a welcome on the page and in the wellness lounge. You have to help them step by step by step, but you can totally do it. So wouldn't this be awesome to see this just explode <laughs> with a ton of silvers? So say they get three, you can be like, oh my gosh, if you get three more people this month, you're going to get an additional $230. You don't have to share the, the big dollar amounts like right up front and just be like pouncing on them. Just get them sharing, get the samples out. Let's help you invite friends. When you have three people join you, you're going to get $380. So it is 380, 385, something like that in referral bonuses. Then when that happens, then talk about if you get three more, you'll have $230 more. And then just ask, what do you think? She might say, oh, I'm kind of good right now. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> That's okay. Or she might say, uh, yeah, let's get it. Let's definitely get it. Tell me what to do. So either way, be super excited for them. Shout them out on the team page. Shout them out on the public page. Super important for us to shout people out on public pages because I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of nice to have your friends and family see what you're doing. We as a team, we see each other all the time and that's great to do shout outs in the team page, but it's different. When we shout someone out on, a pub, on our public pages, their friends see them being successful and it actually attracts people to them. It makes people curious, like what's Chrissy doing? Oh my gosh, what's Leah doing? And they see their friend being successful and it's like, hmm, I'm gonna watch her a little bit. Or they might be like, I gotta reach out to her and see what she's doing, I wanna do this too. So offer this to everyone in, in April that you signed up, offer it to everyone in May. Share with each other what is working for you in our team chat. Like if something's happening, you guys, if you're sending messages out and you're like getting a great response, share it in our team chat. Say, oh my gosh, you guys, I sent this message today and it's really going well. And we can learn from each other. <clears throat> um, so the last part of mapping out your month, any, is anyone working on your team? You may or may not have that. And if you don't have that, you will soon have that. Sorry, it's giggling. So you've got your, um, hang on. Oh, we can't see this, but you've got your, your why, you've got your personal enrollment goals, you've got how many silvers you're going to help develop. The last part of this is others to focus on. I have four written down. I'm going to have names filled in here of people who have goals, specific goals, and are committed to them. And they are the people that I'm going to be working close, closest with, right? So see, so think about who you have and go talk to them, reach out to those that have backed off, tell them the things that are going on. Just as a friend, I want you to know what's going on. Sponsor six, get $200. We've got the fit, fit for life thing that Brooke Hemingway is doing. We have, let them know we have an event coming up Thursday, pink 15s, ask them what, what, are the, what do they think? get them into action. How would you get them into action? You can ask. How long has it been since you've posted? You know, I'm talking about someone who was kind of engaged for a little bit and then kind of backed off. How long has it been since you've posted? Have you been talking to anyone? So really get that conversation going. She might be like, well, I talked to this girl at work, but she kind of backed off and you can talk about that conversation and you can give her some tips. Who do you know that needs better health? Learning how to ask those questions can help people so, so much. Asking questions and really, really listening. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, those that are 100% engaged on your team probably have already written a lot of this stuff down over the weekend. Ask them, go reach out to them, ask them what their goals are, and write them on your map. Get those people on your map. Um, then you might have some middle ground people that are a little bit more relaxed. They have goals for a while, but don't do much. Help them get into action, you guys. Look at their back office with them. Map it out for them like we did tonight. 
um, vision cast with them and help get them into action. Help them earn that extra $200. Get creative, do pink 15s for them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I posted on our, on our pink passion page to the, today about a Facebook um, chat messenger event. You gotta go check it out. I won't get into it here, but OMG, I'm gonna do one. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, wait, all the details are there. So if you wanted to do one tonight, you could totally do one tonight. All the information is there in the comments of post one, post two, post three, and how to do the event in Messenger. You guys are gonna flip and love it. Um, you could offer extra incentives to your team too, you know, to help people get going. Maybe offer to um, say, hey, if, if we can talk to a few of your friends this week, I will actually pay for their one-year enrollment. And you can offer things like that. It's kind of fun to do that. So once you guys kind of have this written out, I would love if you would just take a picture of your goal board or however you're doing it, if it's on a piece of paper um, and share your goals in the business chat. You don't have to have any names written in there yet at all. Um, if you don't wanna share that information, just have like your goal and your why in there, what it's gonna to mean to you when you reach that. Um, that'd be kind of cool, share it in the business chat. So anyways, you will be so happy come, uh, I almost said November, May 25th, when we hear the announcement, May 25th. All right, that is all I have tonight. I hope that inspired you. I hope that gave you direction on how to map out your month and just taking one step at a time, one step at a time, one bite at a time. It's very, very exciting, very, very doable. So. I'm excited to see a picture of what your guys' what your sheets look like. If you don't want to share it in the business chat, private message it to me. All right. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. If anyone has questions, I'll hang out for a second. But um, you guys have an awesome night and know that when you set your mind to it, you can do anything. Anything's possible. <laughs> Alyssa's on too. Yay! We have Alyssa, Christy, yay, more people hopped on. If you didn't put your goals in the chat, you can do that real quick. All right, good night, everybody.